Alright people, welcome to another Warcraft 3 cast. This time around we got a game on Circle of Fallen Heroes. I have a tournament going on right now. It is known as Heroes and Champions. This is a weekly uh, thing that happens every Tuesday. Hosted by Rocking Golem and Ember Mate. So, we got a team of crossed, uh, Crossroads Dem and his ally through they will be facing up against uh, this is DV and this is TGW TGW is from team SQK I'll have to pull up the brag once again yeah it's SQK and the other team's name is SWUSADT which is even more confusing to pronounce so we're just going to refer to them with their in-game names that is through and crossroads versus TTW and DV. So it's going to be undead and orc versus undead and human. TTW and DV, of course, choosing the red colors, which are far convenient to pick up. Opening up uh, over here, we got uh, Crypt first. Alter is Alter respond a archmage. And I have seen TTW and DV pull out a nice strat. Uh, they may do the same thing again. I have seen them using double... Hmm, nope, they're gonna do something else this time. I've seen them using double Tomb of Relics. This way, the Rod of Necromancy is available for both of the heroes of the team. And what do we have here? It appears that Thru is kind of doing the same thing on his side of the map. He's also opening up with the Crypt first. Orc player... Hmm... That's a late tavern if I've... Uh, late uh, altar if I've seen one. He's likely going in for... Crypt Lord is almost ready here. Archmage and Crypt Lord versus Death Knight and well, the hero for the orc will likely be a tavern one from what I understand now. This is a pretty pretty late altar. Hero for human is already out. Archmage... Uh... They probably want to take out an expansion first. This pocket expansion is easily defendable. And I can figure out that there is some sort of deviation between this map and the circle of fallen heroes that's available on the ladder. Sacrificial skull? No sacrificial skull by the Crypt Lord. Usually you want to carry that whenever you're going in for a early expo in this kind of a matchup. Scout Footman of TGW going to go and annoy the hell out of the orc altar and it appears that Crossroads messed up or something there. That that hero is so, so late. Oh. Oh. I see what they were up to. Crossroads didn't mess up. Crossroads provided all of his gold to his ally. Well, basically his resource is probably lumber as well from what I see. This gives through the opportunity to, to build three crypts and a necropolis and he's putting down a third cigarette now. And now Thru is going to go for mass gargoyles. He also went in for a very very fast tier 2. Tier 2 is 25% done here. It's uh, fi almost 50% done here. So this hero is late. We got TGW going in with that annoying scout footman. This should kind of give away uh, to the team of TGW and DV, that is SQK, that something is fishy. We did have a carrion beetle come in over here that did kind of detect uh, what's cooking and they know what's cooking. They got mass gargoyles coming in and they got to act fast and uh, acting fast is exactly what TGW is doing. Putting down a blacksmith with some power building and a second barracks. They definitely need a lot of riflemen to deal with something like this. Tier 2 coming in for DV. Uh, DV not going in for fiends as of just yet. F going in for fiends would be an option. It would rather be necessary if uh, Team Blue, we'll refer to these guys as Team Blue. If Team Blue is going in for mass gargoyle early push, then that's going to be a bit hard to deal with considering the fact that you don't really have that many ranged units early on in the game. That's that's like six gargoyles already. And they want to pick up an expansion early on it appears. A failsafe plan is always good. Oh, 
Of course, the heroes are also leveling up. TJW and DV going in for some more gold mines. Won't be expanding there, most probably. That's kind of a risky expansion if you want to take this. Of course, human player may choose to expand here if he wants to take a forward expansion or something. Of course, this is why you want to love this map. You have this dragon roost here. Uh, I believe it has two shops and marketplace and merc camp. Yeah, double marketplace, a uh, double goblin merchant, single marketplace and two shops and one dragon roost. So we have seen the use of dragon roost, the big dragon before, and it works really well. TJW and DV heavily concentrating on creeping. They don't want to go and hit hard, it appears. They're just going to go for some a uh, lot of riflemen. And uh, towering up the base would be a good option. Although I don't really see DV doing that. We have a second necropolis out there, but uh, that's probably not going to be upgraded at all. And oh, the music is playing. Why is it playing? I don't want it to play. Yeah, otherwise you guys would be hearing doubles. That'd be pretty, pretty bad. Here comes the army of Team Blue. They're going in for some more creeping, it appears. And you can see the amount of firepower they have. They just took out a level 6... Uh, yeah, that's probably a level 6 uh, Thunder Lizard. With... I don't know, within uh, 2 seconds or something there. A second hero being picked up by TGW. That's going to be the Alchemist. And the Alchemist could be a really good option in this kind of a matchup. You can use that heal spray to your advantage and also use the Acid Bomb. Acid Bomb combined with Orb of Corruption can reduce the armor by a lot. And that can be really, really potent. Uh, TGW at an army of 46 right now. DV at an army of 49. And oh, oh we already have an Assault going in with those, with those Gargoyles. Here comes uh, to the, here comes the Farce here to the rescue. A nice uh, chain lightning, but that actually went across uh, the the riflemen. They got enough riflemen to deal with this, and of course the alchemist can also attack the aerial units. That's a good benefit for them. Beetles can't attack airs, but of course once the fiends have them webbed, they can attack. They can easily take out any of the weak HP units like footmen, acolytes with that many gargoyles and they also got attack upgrades on those gargoyles, damn going after the alchemist, alchemist got taken out and they're going to TP away from this before they lose too many of them gargoyles they lost about 3 gargoyles over there may want to switch in a strategy or something I don't know, going for mass fiends now it appears, they didn't to plan the expansion and only now crossroad is going for some military buildings farseer almost level three here death knight is level three and uh, what's the second hero it's level two on the other side we got a huge movement of uh, units for team red what are they doing they want to go for the red camp it appears or are they going in for an assault probably the red camp first and this camp has two, two Elder Hydras and this giant sea behemoth. Tripper picking up a good item. Probably useful for himself and uh, the heavy beetles. They want this red camp. Of course the Elder Hydra don't drop spawn links like uh, how the other hydras do and it appears that team red is trying to pick up a second expansion this is going to be the first expansion for tgw second expansion and their whole strategy was based around hitting hard and fast and looking at the way TGW and DV detected that mass gargoyle push, the double crypt, uh, the triple crypt mass gargoyle push, they immediately switched into going in for mass riflemen on the human side. And uh, there may be a case where 
DV provided the resources to TGW to do so. We do see DV with a lot of resources here. He can easily give away about 500 to 700 gold to his ally and let him produce something off of that while uh, the expansion is also coming in for him. Crossroads is now being assaulted. They need to TP back in here to save the main. They are going to attack an expansion and there's no way to TP at this expansion. If you are attacking the main then you could have tried to force a TP but of course that's also a decision whether whether or not they would want to take that or not. Both of the players through and crossroads coming in trying to focus down the Archmage. Archmage weak. Archmage get it taken out but they have way too many units. If they choose to stick in and try to deal damage, try to take out everything uh, Team Blue has, they may potentially do it. Team Blue is targeting the heroes but where are the gargoyles? They're all down. They're all down. All of the gargoyles for Team Blue have been murdered over here right now. And uh, they had 70 food worth uh, supply, so there's a good potential that they had already crossed upkeep while trying to get the gargoyles. There's a lot of riflemen there by TGW. They can potentially take out this Great Hall. That's exactly their target right now. Take out the Great Hall and then it, it really wouldn't matter even if they had to TP away. This seems to be a case where TGW and DB are definitely having the upper hand and they don't they don't really need any mistakes from the other team anymore. They got this game in the bag right now. No expansions for Team Blue. Team Red will score the victory from what I understand now. The rifleman damage is so good. And of course the combination of uh, undead and human working together. Obsidian statues healing up the riflemen. No need of priests. You just get like two obsidian statues and you're fine. You're gonna be just fine there. These riflemen are going to make short work of these peons. And oh, a death knight got murdered over there. Crypt Lord level 5 now. And at this point, uh, through and crossroad are kinda just. Uh, Dragging the, dragging the game if you ask me because the thing is there's no practical way that you're going to beat a team with uh, uh, like one expansion each even if you manage to actually back them out and okay they got a frost worm see how that works considering the fact that uh, team red switched to complete anti-air I don't really have a lot of hopes from the frost worm and we got unholy frenzy on the screen now there we go crossroad taps out this game goes to TGW and DV have to say wonderful game thank you for watching thank you for listening for the guys watching on Twitch you can wait for the next uh, game to come up we have a lot of games today from what I understand so I'll be casting a couple of them and for the guys on YouTube, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, if you like what you have seen, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.